Hey, it's Eric here at Woodcat Avenue. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to create drawing fields. As an example, I'm just looking at the template I have here for a title block. And if you're interested in that, feel free to email me directly and I'll send it to you. It's got three paper sizes already set up for you. I've also taken a lot of time to set up some M textiles and some leader styles and so forth. Plan to have a, a video about how to use this template more fully in future videos. Today I'm working in a program called AbbeyCAD, which is an AutoCAD-like substitute or alternative. And for those of you familiar with AutoCAD, it's going to feel almost exactly like AutoCAD. It's about 90% of what AutoCAD is. In other words, there are some commands, uh, more advanced 3D commands. Just some of the program is ever so slightly different. For the most part, it is unnoticeable. So to get to field, you just type in field without the S. And then here you select the category of what you want. For example, let's choose the date and time category. And then here, select your format the way that you want that to appear in your drawing. So I'm just going to go with this top one and I'm going to just choose the date option here and then it will insert today's date in the drawing. It will also place a background behind it. No worries, that background is not going to plot. It's just telling you that this is a field and it will dynamically update. Let's do a couple more of these. So again, type in field. And this time, let's choose objects. And then here, we'll choose object in this window pane. Then we'll go ahead and select the object here with this icon. And then in this example, I'm going to select the, uh, the viewport. And here, I can select the standard scale. It's showing me a preview of what that's going to look like, which looks good. And I'll choose OK. And then we'll come down here and insert this scale here. This corresponds with this viewport here. So as this scale and this viewport changes, changes to 1 8 and then regenerate the drawing with our E that's going to update this piece in your title block. So just have a look at these. We'll do one more as an example here. Uh, let's go ahead and just choose document. And here we can choose the file name. It's going to give you a little preview of what that's going to look like. And then choose OK. We'll just put this over the top here of our drawing. We could scale it. We'll just scale that three times. And that way, might be handy if you're doing a lot of drawings to keep track of which one you're looking at. So I hope this video is helpful. Feel free to email or call me. The number here is 888-271-7121. And again, if you're needing a title block or if you're needing help with setting up a drawing like this, just go ahead and reply to this email and I'll get back to you. Talk to you later. Bye.